What's up, YouTube? I'm tapping in with my late night go-getters, man. And listen, guys, we had a excellent day on today, especially if you rolled the trend down, okay? And listen, that's what it's all about, man. But before I get off into that, man, I want to let you guys know major salute to those that did their thing on today. Okay, I'm going to celebrate you guys as I do each and every day. Once again, man, I can't do it without you guys. So I want to thank you for sending in the love, sending in the receipts so that we can show off what we do each and every day in this market, okay? Because I told you, if you know what you're doing, you can always be making money, guys. We're going to invest. We're going to get it in with options around here. And that's just how we're going to keep giving it up, all right? But with that being said, though, guys, we got one more day in the market on tomorrow okay so we want to end friday with a bang but first i got to give you guys some guidance on what to expect on tomorrow okay so check this out we had a major sell-off today okay and i often tell you guys when this when the fed speaks that's going to make the stock market go down okay that's going to make stocks crash or plummet all right so look tomorrow you can expect two things to happen you got two scenarios that i want you guys to be on the lookout for and just like you guys did today i want you to capitalize on it tomorrow and i'll give guidance in the morning in the discord too when it's even more fresh and i can put eyes on what the pre-market is doing all right but check it out guys because i'm going to tell you what to look out for okay tomorrow with it being friday last of the week what you can expect is look a continuation of plays going down from today's downward movement okay so you can look for right at 9 30 stocks to do one of two things continue to go down and then around 10 30 11 it may start to go back up i'm talking about a little a little a little survival bounce nothing nothing that's going to make up for the losses of yesterday okay nothing crazy or it might start off today going up only to drop right back down to yesterday or today's levels or lows and then continue further falling down okay look for those two scenarios though guys and use them to your advantage so what i'm looking to do tomorrow i'm looking to catch plays continuing going down meaning i'm gonna wait for they have one little pop and like my guys did in tesla today i'm gonna buy a put when i see the first little pop up tomorrow okay i don't care if it's 9 35 9 45 or 9 55 when the market try to pop up i'll buy a put and just ride the plays down okay or if the stocks come out the gate and going down i'm just going to Again, as I preach and teach to you guys, the trend is your friend. I'm just gonna ride that trend down, just jump in a put and just go down further with the stock, okay? I'm not gonna make the game complicated. I'm gonna keep it simple and I encourage you guys to do the same. Then listen to this guys, you know around here is principles. Get in and get out. Don't overstay your welcome. Don't be greedy. Do me that favor guys, okay? Make sure you're not falling in love with these plays so we can continue to make money and we can continue to do our thing and reach our financial goals, all right? With that being said and with that being out the way, please don't forget to send your questions of the day and also know that I'm about to start back up reviewing you guys' portfolios because right now is when we should be buying, okay? I tell you guys all the time, the analysts, the experts, and the folks on Wall Street, they're not gonna give you the game the correct way, okay? They're gonna try to discourage you, try to get you to quick, get you to leave the stock market, but this is how we build our wealth. This is where we have to be buying it, okay? And so I need to review some more portfolios so that I can let you guys know, nope, you gotta beat this up. Nope, you gotta get that up out of here, okay? So that we can have the right kind of plays, the right kind of mix, the right type of plays built out, like our 125 shares minimum, for example, so that when things turn around, whenever that should be, okay? We can never time that but we know it's inevitable, we know it's gonna happen, all right? So be prepared for that, because that's what I'm gonna be looking to do, okay? Now listen guys, for tomorrow, I want you guys to keep a few plays on your radar, okay? One being Tesla, okay? They reported earnings, and again, they gave a lot of that back. You guys need to be looking as investors 
just to see if they're able to hold a thousand dollar level or to see if they come down under one thousand dollars on tomorrow please do me that favor also do me a favor and look out for snap okay ticker symbol s-n-a-p they reported earnings but they didn't get no love one way or the other and in my estimation i could see them falling when the market pulls back okay matter of fact speaking of earnings guys look at what you got on the horizon okay look at what you got on the horizon I don't really care about Friday, but more or less for next week, okay? Some of the big dogs report, and as they report, we as a family are going to get more opportunities. So I need y'all to save a little money for me. I need you to bring your A game, and I need you guys, when we hit these home runs, you got to peel a little bit off for me so we can jump into the next play, and we just keep stacking and keep stacking and keep stacking, okay? Because as long as we stacking and building, we can jump into the next opportunities that we have, okay? And listen, guys, those are two plays I want to put in your radar. I might add one more to the mix in the morning for Discord, but please keep an eye on those, guys, because you want to see how does earnings impact the current stock they're presented and then if any other plays either fall with the stock or rise with the stock. You guys have to know correlation between what you're seeing okay so please pay attention for that for me but nevertheless we are going to be making some money regardless okay now listen guys plays are are falling i'm not advising you guys to jump in reckless okay if anything we dollar cost average do not go all in at this point in time mark my words okay chris is not advising me go all in so you guys know my example if you had a thousand dollars Okay, and the way these plays are plummeting, don't put your whole thousand in right now. But if you had a thousand, I'm okay if you throw 250 in. Okay, you throw in 250 and you keep 750 on the sideline. Does that make sense? You put in 250 and you keep 750 in your buying power, or you keep it ducked off like I do in the Nike stock or something like that. Okay, do that for me, but don't go all in because. I'm trying to tell you these plays can come down a little bit further, okay, or at least back to the levels that we've seen them touch previously in this year, okay, and some might even fall even further. I'd rather us buy low and sell high. You guys know the name of the game. Listen, guys, up next is our word of the day, and our word of the day is dead cat bounce. Listen, guys, what is a dead cat bounce? A dead cat bounce is a stock that is dead okay a stock that has fallen but then it temporarily bounces up and then it fakes out new beginning retail investors thinking that the stock is about to run and then only for it to fall right back down okay that's a dead cap bounce okay another one that i want you to put in your radar is averaging down okay averaging down is this guys when you buy a stock so for instance say you bought a stock at $16, okay, and then today, after a sell on like we had today, the stock go down to $15.50, okay? Averaging down would be you bought it at $16, then you bought it at $15.50, and then say if it go to $15 tomorrow, or by the end of the day, you buy that $15, so $16, $15.50, and then $15 even. That is how you average down. So averaging down simply means you're bringing your average cost down. So I first owned the stock at $16. I might only have five shares, but then I bought five more shares at $15.50. Okay, so now my average cost might be like $15.80. And then I bought five more shares at $15 even. And now my average cost might be let's just say 1545, okay? That is averaging down. And sometimes it makes sense to do that if you are in a play you know, like, and love, but you also wanna bring your cost basis down so that when the stock runs back up, it has lesser room to run for it to have to hit a home run, 100% return. You also make more return on your investment because that play now has a lower average cost so now when it's sitting up higher you're making more money okay two things i want you to guys to put on your radar are two things i want you to implement into your trading plan but nevertheless guys let's get ready to do what we do listen guys you already know 
when there's blood in the streets, it's time to eat. And today it was blood in the streets. So I need you to go hunting. I need you to go fishing. We're big sharks around here, okay? And so I need you to go fishing tomorrow for me. Look for any deals you see. We love a sale, okay? If we went to the mall and we saw 50% off, we would love that. You gotta love it in the stock market too, okay? Listen guys, when they sleep, we eat. When they panic, we pounce. We make videos like this every day. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some freestyle keys on my link below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.